six, nine, Today we're going to compare this Creality K1 up against the Bamboo X1 Carbon and we're going to determine the price point, the quality output and also how rigid these systems are and future proof they might be. So Creality K1 is a much cheaper printer than the Bamboo X1 Carbon but then again people might say well you should have compared it to the P1P which is on a cheaper price point but P1P is not enclosured and it doesn't have any options to upgrade to the LiDAR scanner which this Creality K1 has and the Bamboo X1 Carbon comes with the camera and also the LiDAR scanner which in this case of the Creality it's optional so you will have to buy these separately as of this moment the camera is out you can purchase it but not the LiDAR scanner at the moment and it will be in the near future available for purchase and then you can do the same stuff that is the Bamboo X1 Carbon is doing. So the Bamboo X1 Carbon has 7 micron resolution and the Creality K1 claims to be having 1 micron resolution for the LiDAR scanner which is much greater. So but yeah take it with a grain of salt guys. It might be completely different. It might even suck at, as of this moment. We don't know how it performs and also you will have to get on both printers PEI print bed otherwise you will have to use some glue sticks which I hate to do and this I had to purchase separately it is made for a uh, Creality Ender 5 S1 but fits perfectly you can see these gaps here are also on the K1 so when you just put it on here it just fits perfectly so we're going to look also into the into the software they're using the firmware so software wise i think bamboo is more polished than the creality k1 it's kind of a joke sometimes but what you see what creality is coming up forward with these mobile apps and everything because the mobile apps on the creality is with advertisement which is what we don't need we are paying for a product that we are going to use without any advertisement but Creality is implementing it into its apps and Bamboo doesn't do that which is like more professionally seen much better way of handling stuff also Creality K1 has the ability to fully unlock well not on an official way but the unofficial way you can fully unlock the clipper that is running on so with an exploit I showed on an earlier video you can get fully blown clipper on this Creality K1 and on the bamboo you are locked onto their ecosystem which is the bamboo slicer and everything that's coming along with it well not kind of not just the slicer just the firmware the software that it's on the printer is locked so you can only use their firmware and here you can manually upgrade, update to just any clipper, you know, mainsail, fluid, it just works all. I really wish that Creality came forward saying that they will do it officially because there might be some updates on the firmware that we want, but maybe they will close the clipper exploit on it so you, you won't be able to actually use it uh, in the near future but no words on that as of yet so i can only talk about what is going on at this moment of time this video is sponsored by pcbway.com the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards tell us what you need then let us design and manufacture your pcbs to the highest level Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. Also, I had to do some upgrades. Well, prints kind of fixed the uh, problems that come out of the box, which is this uh, top section is a little bit to low the x-axis can be freely moving around and also as you can see here there are some holders you can see i printed i released the ptfe tubing from its place so that it's more freely to uh, to go otherwise it might do some under extruding and in this way of uh, setup it doesn't and also this front door um, had some wiggle around on it so i had to take this part that was installed on the bottom of it there out of there and print one myself I can show you guys what it looks like there you go that's the printed part I installed it and now it doesn't wiggle around at all which is how it should have been from the box and also if you look at the 
K1. These side panels are made of acrylic. Look, if you really like knock on it, you can hear it rambling around, and also on the on the left side as well, it's rambling. That's not what we want on a 3D printer. And and if you knock on the bamboo, it's metal. It's aluminium or metal. It's much better. It does sound hollow, but that's what I really like about the bamboo. It's a polished product, even though it came out like much more before the Creality and Creality has, you know, cut off some quality on their product, especially on the K1 and K1 Max will be not much different. It will be just bigger in size and some options uh, like the LiDAR and this camera already pre-installed, but I really don't like this panel. So I might find a way you know get something else to put on the left and the right side which will be more rigid because i also don't like the fact that when you're printing with the k1 it is more louder and i'm not only talking about the the fan noise uh, i'm also talking about the movement noise is much smoother on the bamboo x1 creality k1 has some issues there maybe it's just my unit but yeah then we're talking about quality control my unit should have been same as any other printers but it does make some noise on some places where the x axes are it just makes some noise and i really don't like that just the prints on a creality k1 i haven't had well, many failed prints they just come out good and on the bamboo it always has been not people more more about the bamboo it just prints um there is not much dialing in into it the bamboo slicer does everything for you i'm not saying that the bamboo is a perfect machine uh, i'm just giving you a scenario so you're printing something there is filament in your AMS system you're printing it and at the same time when the print is finished your filament is actually also finished but it's already in the PTFE tubing so it is midway it want to retract it because the print is finished so what happens in that case is that your AMS system won't be able to retract it because it's going to turn and turn but there is nothing to grip on so the filament will be stuck in there so if the when the filament is stuck in there the only way you can do is normally extrude it so that the rest that's in the PTFE tubing is going to be extruded out it happened once it did it correctly but four times after that it kept on saying error you have to you know, you retract the filament and there was no way to to skip that or to avoid that fault error so what I had to do is I turned the printer off turn it back on same thing is happening so eventually I had to disassemble the PTFE tubing completely like four times and that was really a pain in the ass so yeah that is something I have a solution for that is not the perfect solution. I will talk about that in another short video, but people who are, have been in that situation know that it's a pain. So also the K1 and the Bamboo are similar printers, similar way of working. Everyone is saying Creality K1 is a clone of the Bamboo. Yes, that might be the, the situation here, but if it's a clone, they should have cloned it actually better because they didn't clone it that good. Not saying that Creality K1 is bad, it's just not polished. It's just not polished as of yet. So let's get on to the printing. I'm going to print the both the same SDL file. I'm gonna look which one I'm going to go for. It's not gonna be a Benchy this time. So now we started to print with a K1 and we are measuring the noise levels on a dB meter on my iPhone. So around 59 decibel from one meter away so that is the sound output that the k1 is doing so i'll zoom a little in so you guys can see what the printing looks like And also with the lid open, the noise levels go up to 63. 
decibel and that is much louder so <laughs> it is recommended to keep the door closed now as you can see the print is finished on the K1 and I'm going to take it out of there okay so it came out really nice I really like the quality of this let me take the brim out so yeah you can see it is a nice print and let me take this out as well the brim comes out really easily on the K1 maybe it is a little bit under extruding not sure but it looks fine and turning this in does work yeah nice little tank came out well it is a bit stiff there let's see what the bamboo x1 carbon does so now we're printing with the bamboo x1 carbon and in my experience now here it is a much quieter experience that is really like showing the quality of bamboos printers if you compare it to the Creality K1 series at the moment I really have to say noise wise bamboo is really a lot better but we are going to compare the print that we had with the K1 which is this one and there we have the same print with the same filament on the bamboo x1 carbon so we're going to compare them under the microscope this time so we can see exactly the layers how they are actually fused together so here we're starting with the bamboo x1 carbons microscopic view and as you guys can see it's pretty neat how the bamboo can actually print this is pretty much the the highest i can zoom in and let me try to do some lightning here different angles of lightning so you can see how the fusing has happened and this is also the bottom side of it as you can see this is the texture of the print bed which is PEI and if you look closely you can see the lines in there but not really you have to really have to look for it and so also the the top bit here the lines you see they are really nicely even so this is a successful print even under the microscope nothing to say about that and here also from the top angle you can see that uh, the print has well the printer has well here you see the z-seam also on this side here is a z-seam it's not straight but it is the way that the slicer has done it so that's it let's go to the Creality K1 so at the Creality K1 site you can see that the texture came out better than the bamboo in my opinion for some reason maybe it's a little bit under extruding so that it is giving a little bit different texture but you can see on the top here it looks pretty much the same as the bamboo and really nice lines under the microscope all even and perfect in my opinion so let's go to the bottom bit here also perfect lines yes it's I don't see any imperfections there so here we have a little bit of problem that is under extruding 101 you can see that perfectly that is the problem with the K1 at the moment I, I'm afraid because a one layer print sheet doesn't come out good either and you can also see on the bottom here that the lines are a little bit different and yes here is also a little bit of under extrusion but that is fixable that is you know you just have to change some values and it will be fixed but you know this is how the Creality K1 has printed so far anyways guys thank you for watching this video hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content like this in the future bye